Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episodes, we, uh, well, the, the first episode, we started chasing the grunt that set off an explosive in the Great Marsh. Uh, Crash Awake went into the Great Marsh to check the damage. We chased the grunt over to the Grand Lake Hotel where we pooped him out and then he fought us, but he lost because he was all pooped out. Uh, we almost continued chasing him back to Veilstone, but then Cynthia showed up and was like, oh, can you go over to Route 210 and go give those those Psyducks out of her having terrible headaches this medicine I got from Seanwood City? So we did that. Uh, turned out the damage to the Great Marsh was barely anything at all, so I guess the bomb was a big dud, even though it sounded bad. Headed up to Route 210, gave those Psyduck the, in the medicine, then Cynthia showed up immediately thereafter wondering why I mean, why didn't she just bring the medicine, huh? <laughs> but we then started heading up Route 210 North, which should have been all foggy, but it wasn't because the hack is great. Fought a lot of trainers down it, uh, which did get Rosa almost to evolve, uh, but it also made the episode incredibly long. And then Lucas showed up and made everything worse. But luckily we managed to defeat him despite being completely unprepared for him and uh, made our way over to Celestic Town. So this episode, we are gonna be doing Celestic Town and I hope for God's sake, it is shorter. I mean, there's, we're only gonna be doing the town. I, I hope, I hope we only do the town, but there should be very little to do here. I, I might be completely mistaken. There could be another big detour. Who knows? Uh, in between last episode and this episode, I did go back to the tutors and I got superpower on Rosa just to see if that would be anything fun. Uh, I also switched a bunch of items around uh, that that they're holding. Uh, I gave Dwight the focus band because he keeps on dying in one shot, so maybe that'll prevent him from dying. Uh, Kendrick, I got the wise glasses because he's our special attacker, so he should have the thing that boosts special attacks. Uh, Brent is the razor claw. This is gonna be great on Brent because the razor claw boosts critical hits. And uh, paired up with his ability, I think his critical hit chance is like 25% now, <laughs> which is stupid high. Uh, speaking of which, I also gave Anthony a scope lens because that should actually give him the same thing since a couple of his attacks give us critical hit ratio. That was a that was a viewer comment and then I was like, oh yeah, that's smart. Uh, and you have the muscle band still. So that's pretty much all I changed. I almost gave May superpower because I could have, because I did also go check the uh, the move tutor to see if anyone had anything that would be worth anything again. He could get superpower, but we'll just keep it with Rosa for now. Anyway, Celestic Town. Oh God, I don't remember what everything is in this town. The past lives. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. Nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. Well, that sounds awful, and I feel bad that I just walked into town, because now I'm in danger. Hey, do you know what they say? They say a Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. I think they've said it about every single region we've been to since, uh, Hoenn. <laughs> Analog or digital? What kind of watch do you prefer? Personally, I like using an hourglass myself. That's neither. <laughs> so this guy would have given us... I mean, we start with the digital clock face. That's one of, that's the first app we get. Uh, but I think he would have given us, where is it? I don't know, I don't remember which number it is. He would have given us the analog clock if we didn't have it. So, yay. Also, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> I have Penny. Or have Penny or have Penny, whatever. Is the... Is the guy gone? He is gone. Wow, look how close we were to town. He was stopping us right here. Thank God he left. There's no Pokemon Mart in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in this house here. Ooh, let's take a look and see what's for sale. Um, hello. Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks too. Deep, man. So would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? How many wise glasses do we have? I thought I had one. I, oh yeah, 
Kendrick has a white glasses. Oh boy, am I just gonna get everything here? I definitely also had choice specs. Let me take a look. Well, I mean, so far they haven't appeared, so I guess I didn't. Distinctive glasses boost special attack, but only allow one kind of move to be used. That's like the choice band. Slightly boost the power of special moves. Could give Brent that, but I think having him have a better crit chance is better. It's a better a lot there. It felt very weird. Yeah, choice band does attack, and this does special attack. All right, how about the store? Let's see, airmail, dusk, quick, and timer. Do I have any timer balls? I don't. Do I have any quick balls? I do. We'll get 10. Sure, why not? That could be helpful if, like, fights take way too long. So this would be the normal store part. Yeah, potion, uh, pokeballs, great balls, ultra balls. I still have a lot of these. Hyper potions, full heals, max repels. Okay. Nothing too interesting, or nothing that we already didn't have enough of. Oh, there's the Spaceman Man. Uh, you can't be the same guy, can you? Howdy! Studying up on local history. That's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good talk. Where are you from? Hmm, Twinleaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Verity? That lake is said to be home to... I never know how to pronounce this Pokemon's name. I, I say Me Spirit, which sounds wrong. It could be Mesprit. The being of emotion. Me Spirit sounds too awkward. That Pokemon may well be watching over you. Would you like to know more about Mesprit? Sure. Mesprit is, a, ah, Mesprit is the legendary Pokemon that symbolizes the emotions. Beside it are also Yuxi, the being of knowledge, and Azelf, the being of willpower. These three Pokemon are said to have strong and compassionate spirits. That's the power of their spirits that maintain the natural balance of Sinnoh. Thank you for that. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of my myths things different back then? Or are they the same now? She says that's the focus of her research. Could you be related to someone we've seen multiple times? It's an old book. Cassie began reading it. When that Pokemon was born, intelligent bloomed among us. That's us. Enriching our lives. When that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us. Giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us. Spurring us into action. Okay. Must be talking about the three Pokemon we just heard about. Mount Coronet towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky and to space in this region. If I climb on top of Mount Coronet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? Well, if it's the tallest place, then yes. I would say so. Uh, let me... If I go down here, will I have to immediately go and fight the guy? No, I can grab this item quickly. Ooh, a dragon fang. It's a problem that I don't have to worry about because I don't think anyone has a dragon fang. Or we don't have any dragon Pokemon. What items are hidden in town? Let's see. On a wed on a on the west ledge next to the ruins, at the side closest to the ruins, so I guess over here on the exact opposite side is a hidden item. Yep. Ooh, King's Rock. So apparently that guy that gives us the glasses, uh, he's supposed to give you a different glasses depending on the time of day. But, you know, because Hack is great, he just gives us all three. Uh... Also, I guess he's supposed to give us... No, 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 no. There's someone in the Pokemon Center that gives us an item. Who? You? Oh, hmm. Hmm, your Pokemon is quite interesting. It clearly likes you very much. You can have this. Thank you. You didn't need it, but it was nice. It's about trust between the trainer and the Pokemon. 
Developing trust in each other is the key to victory. Well, that's, uh, he said something nice about who's in front. Rosa's in front. Nice. All right. Well, Rosa's our big, our big Pokemon right now. What about this thing in the middle? It's an ancient shrine. There's some text engraved on it. In honor of the forest's protector, there is a mysterious gold and silver colored Pokeball inside the shrine. Do you want to take the Pokeball from the shrine? Oh, I know what this is. Cassie reached into the shrine and took out the mysterious Pokeball. Oh, oops. I'm sorry. I'll put it back. Hmm, what's this? Did you take that strange Pokeball out of the shrine, child? Hey, I'm sorry. I just live on the on the rule touch. Like, on that... Like, if I see something, it needs to be touched. <laughs> Well, never mind. Is it of no consequence? It was shiny. That's what I meant to say. That gold-silver ball was an offering to the Guardian of the Forest. <laughs> and I just stole it like the thief I am. There's no forest near here, though. Just a lot of mountains. Perhaps it could better serve its purpose if it were taken to a forest. Well, I'll take care of that relic. Oh, on yourself, too. You thief. <laughs> All right. For those that don't know, uh... Way back in the Pokemon anime. Oh, tell me it has a sprite. Is it a key? It's a key item, right? <laughs> uh, in the anime, when Ash went to the Orange Islands, he went there to go pick up this mysterious thing. And he was to bring it somewhere or find out how to open it because it was impossible to open. Uh, it was supposed to tie into the mythical Pokemon Celebi, was supposed to be inside, but then they made Pokemon Forever, the fourth movie, and they just kind of forgot that that, that plotline never existed in the anime. So, you know, he gave it to someone and then it was never mentioned or heard from again. So, uh, but there was a distribution thing in the Japanese version of Crystal, Pokemon Crystal, where you could get a GS ball and you had to bring it to Ilex Forest and you would be able to get Celebi from that. Uh... That never came over to the U.S. until the the uh, 3DS download versions of the game came out. So, if, the only forest I know of is Eterna Forest, which would kind of tie in. Where would I bring it in Eterna Forest? Let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about the spaceman that's going to blow up town. Ooh, look at these. A giant etching of a Pokemon-like creature covers the wall. There is some fading text etched in as well. The flow of time never stops. The past, future, and present. A giant etching of a Pokemon-like creature covers the wall. There is some fading text etched in as well. Space is ever-expanding dimensions. Our spirits, too, are as space. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll just blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna mess with me? Uh, of course I am. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. I just don't want you to blow up the town while I'm in town. Oh, this thing is doomed? Oh, but I just got intimidated. Maybe I'm the one that's doomed. I could use superpower. That would be funny. I'm gonna do it. I can't use items. That's fine. Even with my lowered attack, this should kill. Oh, here's my karma. Okay, well, it didn't kill. I sacrificed, uh... Sacrificed some attack and defense for that. I won't die. That hurt me a lot more than I thought. Maybe I should've went with Earthquake. Yeah, should've went with Earthquake. Could've gotten the stab bonus. Would've been way more powerful. And I wouldn't have lost attack. B 
Eadrill. Bug Poison. There's no way it knows Levitate. So I could hit it with Earthquake again. We're just so close of Rosa getting to 55. I'm kind of glad it didn't have Levitate. That would have sucked. If I missed, I might have died. But will it kill? It did not. Oh, this will. <laughs> oh, darn it. All right, well, that was 100% that was deserved. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You still are getting experience. So we're gonna sacrifice a hit for Brent. But I didn't hurt you. Ow, that did a lot. Let's see if I get lucky and get a crit hit. <laughs> I sure did. Ooh, this might be nasty. Gold bat. Oh, that definitely has a chance to get Rosa to 55. <laughs> We're risking it all. We're doing stupid moves now. Oh, it's not going to give me enough experience. Oh, thank God you didn't have Intimidate. Oh, I was about to say, my attack stats back to normal. But it didn't kill still. Uh, I'll live? I live. I mean, this could if it gives me like 4,000 experience. Alright. I just got worked over by a kid, no less. much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll be happily rid of this place. Oh, you are magnificent. Aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me. That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. Oh, here you go. This is for you, then. This old charm is something made in Celestic, Tongue, Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Okay, hold on. I gotta go heal. <laughs> I suffered a lot. But it's in the name of the name of science. Well, I I was defeating science. But Rose is also like like a, so close, almost at fifty five. I also made the I also made the shiny Tyranitar picture that goes on the on the right hand side of the screen like so so long ago, and I want to start using it. All right, the ruins. I don't think there's anything inside the ruins. No, there's not. Ooh, look at this, another another cave painting. Or ruins painting, I guess. Cassie examined the ancient cave painting. Okay, I said cave painting, I guess I was correct. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere? What is this all about? The cave painting's meaning seems to be this. There, exist there existed beings, beings so powerful they were considered deities at the time. These were the three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balance with either being, as if they formed a pyramid ancient legend of Seno that's still told in Celestic Town. I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Who 
Who might you be? My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you were saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Oh, that was her. <laughs> I'm not interested in your question. <sighs> Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you've protected all these years. A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. We will challenge you. I'm scared. I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Oh boy, Galactic Boss Cyrus. Okay, good thing starting off with the Crobat. So I can hit this thing with Rock Tomb. That might hurt a lot. That hurt a very lot. I also don't think this will KO it, because we didn't kill the Golbat we just fought with normal stats, so unless we get a crit hit, this thing will live. Yeah. Oh, it lowered its speed. Do I have a chance? Crobat's very fast. Do I risk it? I mean, if I switch to Rosa, if I switch anything out, you're going to get enough free attack. So let me just see if Rosa will take the hit. Or maybe we're faster. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Risky Gambit, but it paid off. It paid off in full. <laughs> We're 55. Oh, uh, these stat bonuses don't mean jack. We're about to get a whole new set of stats. Weevil. Ooh. Who do we switch out to? That is a very good question. Let me take a look. Did the game just crash? Oh, that was weird. I did nothing there. A little scary. Um, I switched to May. There's a very good reason. Ray Strong, or May Strong. Weevil! Oh, thank God, take that Intimidate. I need you to. So Weevil is the evolved form of Sneasel. Uh, oh God, Weevil is another new type of evolution. We had a lot of them in the last couple episodes with like learning a move and then leveling up. Weevil is, actually hold on, is Weevil? Yes, Weevil is. Uh, you need to give it a Razor Claw, which Brent is currently holding, and then evolve it, or then level it up during the night only. Uh, when that happens, it'll evolve. It's still Dark Ice, so it's four times weak to fighting. I mean, this is going to suck because May is not going to do that much damage. I lied. <laughs> May is going to do all the damage. I thought that first hit was a crit hit for a moment. Because it just kept on growing and growing. Haunch Crow. Ooh, we're getting all the stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, you stay out. So we've seen the evolved form of 
Mistrevis, a Pokemon introduced in Generation 2 that evolved using the Dust Stone. Uh, we made another one. Hotchcrow is the evolved form of Murkrow. Our, our favorite Samantha from Generation 2. I miss you so much. Uh, I love your little Ascot scarf thing. It is Dusk Stone, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else it could possibly be. Yep, Dusk Stone. If you haven't noticed, we've seen a lot of Pokemon that have new evolutions in this generation. That was kind of the thing about this generation. Speaking of which... Oh, there's no way. This is a terrible idea. Alright. You forced my hand this time. Magnazone, the evolved form of Magneton. Uh, similar to Probopass where it evolves based on a certain area with a magnetic field. You know, if we hadn't announced what Met Probopass evolved from anyway. Uh, I don't think there's been a place there. I mean, there technically are, have been places that have that magnetic field, but they don't exist until now because that just was invented in this generation. Uh, I'm gonna use Heat Wave and hope I'm faster. Good. It did not die. Miracoat. Ow. 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 This is gonna hurt. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Does it know counter? Uh. I guess hit it with... Double kick would be super effective. But for not much. Crunch would be... Normal. This is the risk. Double kick is technically 60 with both hits. Crunch is 80? But with stab, it's like, what? 120? but double kick and crit twice. Now we'll go for crunch. I'm glad you didn't heal. Oh, sweet crit. Impressive. Your prowess is notable. But, Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people and Pokémon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. Oh, thank you for the prize. Thank you for the prize. If a Pokemon learns surf, it can carry you across water in the sea. You've been a great help. That's my thanks for it. Thank you for surf, which is exactly what we need to progress in the story. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Was everything all right here? You saw those strange people with the Galactic Bomb, didn't you? How do you know about the Galactic Bomb? But those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about making a new universe. I thought it was just silly talk. 
nothing to take seriously. Did you not know that they were, like, kidnapping Pokemon from Eterna City? They're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, have you heard of a place known as Pal Park? It's a special Pokemon preserve on Route 221 near Sandjam Town. I've heard that the Kanto region's Professor Oak will be visiting there. Professor Oak and Professor Rowan are old friends, actually. Yes, you should go to Pal Park. It'll do wonders for your Pokedex. I will. Okay, so we did get a detour. <laughs> but that's fine, because it was it was originally planned anyway. So here's the rub. Uh, now that we have Surf, the intended path is we finally go west of Jubilife City. Because there was that Route 218. We can get anywhere because it was waterlogged. Uh, but the way Cynthia is telling us to go is to go south of San Jim Town, down Route 219 and Route 220, which eventually leads to 221, which leads to the Pal Park over here. Doesn't say. Maybe if I zoom in. Doesn't say. But it's there. However, we do have a lot of things that get opened up now that we also have Surf. Not a lot of, like... Well, there's a, there's a couple of new areas we can get to. But mostly I'm thinking of, like, items trapped behind water sources. I think there's something in Route 203. There's definitely something in Route 204. Uh... Route 205 has a lot. Route 206, not that many. 211, yes. 206, no. 207, no. 208, yes. 209, yes. 210, yes. 215, possibly. Nothing in Route 214. Yes on 213, especially like the southern part, or the beaches. And 212 has a lot of stuff in like the marshy area. That should be able to be grabbed now. So... Let us learn it. We're obviously giving it to Kendrick, unless someone else can learn it for some reason. That'd be funny. They'd have to beat... They'd have to beat Kendrick, because this is better than Scald. <laughs> Rosa can learn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brent's still unconscious. Uh, well, we should not teach Rosa it, as funny as it would be. It's a special move, and I think Rosa's pure attack now. So this is at least one of, I wonder if there's, there's, okay, I think Waterfall, which we have, and the other HM move we don't have yet, probably are both, like, the only other ones that we, we need to, like, progress, like, actually do, like, outside of battle moves. I mean, because now we can do this. Hooray! Oh god, you don't you do not know how slow this was <laughs> in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Uh I'm glad that it's faster in platinum. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Hi, Golduck. You know what? I don't have a Golduck yet. Hi, Rosa. I don't like that your shiny's pale. Oh, you do have Sandstream now. I mean, I do like that your stomach is the same color as Pupitar was when it was shiny. All right, well, let's see if a quick ball would work on this thing. Darn it. So much for that times five. It's also gonna, hey. Wait, hypnosis can hit me? I'm a dark type now. Wait, am I actually dark type? Well, I'm not, I don't want to fight when I'm asleep. Yep, I'm rock dark. <laughs> Look at my attack. My attack is 165. That is that is the new highest. It used to be uh, May with her 142 or whatever it is currently now. 145. Also, your speed is 111? You, you are not my fastest Pokemon now, right? You are. That's that's scary. You are like seven levels higher than everyone, so probably explains a lot. Very good of your pseudo legendary status. We do lose stab for earthquake, but we do gain stab for crunch. 
going to take that uh, lucky egg off of you now. And hey, like I said, short episode. We're done at Celestic Town. So, on the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, I haven't started saving the game yet, but I will right after this, we're going to be going around the country again and going around and finding all these weird random water spots that we can now surf across. There will be a couple that I skip. I mean, we're obviously going to be skipping... One, we're going to be skipping the lakes because I don't think we can do anything there anyway at the moment. Uh, we're going to be skipping Route 205 for a brief moment and skipping Route 219 because that's where we're supposed to go and 218 because that's where we're supposed to go later. What's stopping us from going west? I wonder what's stopping us from going west. I'm actually curious now. But there's like all the little tiny things and items that we can pick up now. Plus, we can probably get some strong water Pokemon. I mean, we don't need them because of Kendrick. Is that right, Kendrick? Who needs to start leveling up now? I mean, we got to get everyone up to 55, so everyone's going to level up. But who needs it the most? <laughs> so, until next time, hopefully you enjoyed.